but it's also about what is the culture of the environment. How are we approaching this issue in a way that we also understand we cannot support and help our young people if we also don't also look at the context in which those young people live and are being raised, which means necessarily because our, our edict and our mission is not to come out and say, well, we could do this better. Part of the extension of the work you will do is, yes, focused on our young leaders and our young people, but understanding we also then have to be clear about the needs of their parents and their grandparents and their teachers and their communities. Because none of us just live in a silo. Everything is in context. My mother used to, she would give us a hard time sometimes and she would say to us, I don't know what's wrong with you young people. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. So all of this is part of the work of this group of extraordinary leaders who will help inform and advise how we think about our work. And like the secretary said, give us feedback, give us counsel, give us direction in how we best achieve our mission. Doing it in a way that we fully understand the challenges and the opportunities. And so with that, it is my great honor to swear you in as members of the President's Advisory Commission on Advancing Educational Equity, Excellence, and Economic Opportunity for Hispanics. Please rise, and I'm going to administer the oath.